Hi, welcome to an edition of Big J's Review. Today I'm going to review the NBA Street Spalding Basketball. Uh, earlier on I did a review for the Never Flat Basketball. A couple things I didn't uh, mention in that video on the Never Flat was when you saw it, actually, you saw it all like it had no grip. I've been playing with that ball uh, with, with no grip for about two months prior to when I retired it. Um, that ball, the Never Flat, the it's composite leather. It actually feels really good, but I don't really recommend buying it for street ball because maybe in about two, three months after playing with it, I lost most of the grip. If I was playing more indoor, I'd probably buy that one because the feel of the composite leather does feel a lot better. Now, let's go on to this uh, basketball, the NBA Street. I've been playing with it roughly about, it's already been about 10 days that I played with it. Um... Actually, I prefer this one because I only play on, on out on the streets, on concrete, you know, cement. And this is actually, as far as the feel for it, the composite leather will always feel better than this rubbery feeling. But this is actually, it has not lost grip. Um, I actually feel like if I have cleaned it up, it would feel like day one. And I've been playing with it a lot. Um, I really recommend you get this one if you're just going to be playing outside. Indoors, I would get composite leather because that because uh, it just feels better. This one feels a little rough on your fingers, but it lasts longer. This is actually, uh, from how long I've been playing with it, I feel like this is going to last me longer out there. Plus, it's cheaper. This thing only cost me about, under, it was under $20. I don't remember, maybe about $15, $20. The, the Never Flat actually cost me close to... Anywhere from $30 to $40, I can't remember. So if you're going to play basketball outside and you want a ball to last you, I would go with this. Yes, the cons, of course, is not a nice feel for it. I mean, you don't get a nice feel. But if you want a ball to last you a long time, I strongly suggest this one. Okay, well, that's it for my review. Thank you for watching. Hi, welcome to an edition of Big J's Review. Today I'm going to review the NBA Street Spalding Basketball. Uh, earlier on I did a review for the Never Flat Basketball. A couple things I didn't 